Hey, what's up guys? Check it out. Today I've got a new Milwaukee Fuel M18 cutoff tool. Actually, I think they refer to it as the cutoff machine. So this has a nine inch blade on it. This is an abrasive blade. It comes with this and it also comes with this diamond blade right here, a nine inch blade. So we're gonna go through in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the specs of this and then tell you all the features and then we're going to go outside and we're gonna test it out. Part of it's gonna be in the daylight, part of it we're gonna be running out of daylight so I'm gonna have to bring in some light. So my plan for this video is to start out by cutting some steel since I have this abrasive blade on it. I have some rebar, I have some copper actually, and then I have some 3 8 by six inch steel. We're gonna see how long it takes to cut that. Then I'm going to switch over to the diamond blade and I have a few different things I'm going to cut. The first thing is just a typical brick like this right here. We'll see how easy it is to cut with this and we'll also see how long it takes. And then I have a landscape paver block right here. We'll just see how long this takes. And then I have this decorative landscape block stone right here. The cut capacity of this saw is 3.4 inches which I believe is the thickness of this landscape brick right here. So we'll see if we can cut through from just the top. If not, we're gonna have to flip it over and cut it from the other side. And if you've ever cut concrete with a diamond saw blade like this right here, you're gonna know that it gets really dusty. I actually learned that the hard way a while ago when I was cutting some two by two concrete squares for my raised hearth for my wood stove, and it was really dusty. So I made sure I was upwind of it and had a dust breather on and safety glasses. But I have a better solution, which is adding water. And that's what this saw is designed for. So you can hook a garden hose up to this right here. There is an adapter piece that Milwaukee sends with this too. I think it's in the box. Anyways, it clips onto this. You have this shut off right here. So you can open that up. The water runs through this tube right here. It goes on this side of the blade, and then it wraps around and goes on that side of the blade. So it's constantly keeping water on the concrete as you're cutting, keeping the dust down. So that way you're staying OSHA compliant. So I have another tool I'm gonna show you, is this right here. This is the portable solution to bring water with you to keep the dust down. Check this out, this is the Milwaukee Switch Tank. They have a few different versions of this. This one has a blue handle lid. There's another one, it's like an all gray one, and that I believe is for like concrete cleaner, like a concrete surface cleaner. And then there's another one for like pesticides and herbicides, so if you wanna spray something, like a, a weed killer or a weed and feed, you can do that. So they have different nozzle ends and they have different PSI pressures. So this one's actually a water supply. So what you do is you can take, I've been outside spraying. Here's a video clip of the water supply tank from earlier. I just put a fresh battery in, turn it on, and turn the pressure all the way up. And then as I'm adjusting the nozzle end, you can see there's a, a jet stream spray. You can make it a wide fan spray. The jet stream seems to blast pretty well. There's enough water pressure there to keep the dust down in the saw. And we're gonna shut it off. So you take this nozzle off right here. This end right here is a quick connect fitting. And that just snaps into the end right there. And then you turn this on right here. This is powered by a battery. And then you can adjust the flow rate of the water that you want. And then this will spray water. And then you can go out and cut concrete. So we're gonna do that in just a few minutes. But with this setup right here for cutting steel, we're gonna have sparks. So you don't have to worry about putting water on that. So let's go out and try that out. First thing we're going to cut with the saw is this half inch rebar and what I'm going to do is install the rebar in the concrete so we're going to be cutting that later. Let's drill a hole in it first. There it's all the way through now. You can see the hole. We're going to install the rebar but it's a little bit tight so we have to get the hammer out. Now we've got the saw ready to cut. There's a little safety switch before you pull the trigger. You got to flip that forward. It has adjustable guard right there. And here we go, cutting the rebar. This is a half inch rebar with the abrasive wheel. Love seeing the sparks fly, how about you guys? And 
there's what the end looks like. I'm gonna cut some coppers, half inch copper right here, just to show you what it does with something like that. The end isn't too clean, so I'll stick to my plumbing tools. Now I'm gonna cut some 3 8 steel, six inches wide. And this I'm gonna just show you a couple highlights of it and tell you the time. I'll put it down below after we're done cutting it. It does take a little while. If you're pushing the saw, that orange light comes on. So you gotta let the saw do the work and don't press down too hard. And there it is. That's what the end looks like. Nice clean cut. So here's what the blade looks like after making several cuts in steel. So what I'm gonna do to change this out, to start out, we're gonna remove the battery. So we don't wanna take any chance so I have cut several pieces of steel with this already, more than what I showed you in the video. So this is probably worn down some. It has a diamond arbor. I have not used this blade at all yet, I haven't run water through this. So this is gonna be pretty exciting for me to capture some first time footage. Okay, we're on three bars of power. Let's turn it on a minute, ready? So the blade does have rapid stop, so it's not as fast as like a circular saw, but it's probably somewhere like around three seconds. All right, not bad. So I believe a gas one continues to run for a while. This one has that nice safety feature with a rapid stop. And what's cool here is the one key app that I have. Okay, so right now I'm connecting to the saw right here. And what's interesting right here, there's a tool lock button, so check this out. You can see I just pulled the trigger real quick, it turned on. So I can hit the tool lock, so in case somebody took this right here, I don't want them to use it. Or if I just am leaving it at a job somewhere, I'm just afraid someone might pick it up and borrow it. Check this out. It will not run. Take the tool lock off right there. You're up and running. So, so far I haven't really tried the one key out too much, but I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far. I'll probably have a video review on that pretty soon. All right, so now we're gonna go outside under the lights. I'm gonna hook up the one tank by Milwaukee to this right here, and we're gonna start out cutting this, and then this, and then this right here. Okay, we're gonna take it and clip it on right there, the quick connect fitting. All right, I'm gonna just shut the water off right there, and then turn the water on to the switch tank. Can you hear me click it a second? Okay, when I turn this on, let's see how much water comes out. Ready? That looks like a decent amount. I've got my safety glasses on. So I never use this right here for cutting concrete, so I'm not sure how wet I'm gonna get. So let's see how it goes. All right, here goes, turn the water on. Oh no, that was fast. That was a lot faster than I thought. Man, that's really clean too. Let me show you what it looks like down here. So you can see the dye that they have in that brick. That surprised me how fast. How about you guys? All right, this landscape block right here is inch and three quarter, maybe slightly thicker. Maybe one and seven eighths, something like that. Okay, right, turn the water on. That's fast. What I like about this right here, when I turn this on, you hear that pump down there from the switch tank turn on? When I shut it off, that pump stays off, saving the battery. In case you're wondering how clean that is, that is nice and clean. So here's the three inch concrete block with the rebar in it. We could see some sparks, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm getting a little bit low on water, but I think I have enough to finish this cut right here.
right, check that out. Rebar, concrete, loving it. I feel like there's a lot of details to cover on the nine inch cutoff saw and the switch tank. So let's take a quick look at the box and just check out some of the specs. So that way we make sure that you get all the information. I may have already covered this, but I'll just make it really quick. So the specs, nine inch blade diameter, 3.4 inch cut capacity, arbor size, seven eighths of an inch, RPM 6600. It has a load indicator light, which turns orange when you start pushing it too hard. It's equipped with one key. The length of it, 25.3 inches. The weight with the blade, 11.9 pounds. So if you get this kit, model 2786-22HD, then you get all these items right here. You get the cutoff saw, two of the high output, 12 amp hour batteries, a charger, a diamond blade, and an abrasive blade. And just to clarify, there isn't a contractor bag like you might see with some of the other tools. I did see somebody on the Home Depot website saying it'd be nice to have one. So just uh, might be something you might have to get on your own. And then when it comes to the one key system, which this is included, it has several different things. I'm gonna make another video so I can explain that a little better. But it has integrated tool tracking, integrated tool security, and simplified tool and equipment management. So then when it comes to the switch tank, this is model 2820-21WS. So in this kit right here, it includes a M18 powered base. It has the tank, the hose, and the quick connect. And then it has a M18 XC 3.0 battery and a M18 and M12 charger. So what's cool about the system right here, each tank has a pump built into it. And this is the motor right there that turns the pump. So this kind of reminds me of an old fifth wheel camper that I had. When you turn the water on, you can hear that pump running. As soon as you shut the water off, the pump stops. And that's very similar to this. When you open that up, you hear the pump running. When you close that end, then the pump stops. So right there on the sides where the battery goes, it has a five mode pressure adjustment knob. Adjusts the pressure between 20 and 60 PSI. It provides a greater flow rate control during concrete cutting and coring applications. The powerful pump and motor delivers up to 60 PSI and up to 1.13 gallons per minute. When you look at the other two tanks that are offered, one is a gray color that's for concrete spray and that has the uh, wand on the end like a regular weed sprayer. And this one has the same setup other than the color is white and it looks like it's a green lid. So that's something more like for weed and feed spray or something like that or weed killer. And then the specs. A runtime of up to 12 tanks per charge. Flow rate 0.16 through 1.13 gallons per minute. The pump type is a dual diaphragm pump and the dry weight, 18.3 pounds. All right, what's interesting, I don't see the hose length. Let me measure that real quick. The hose looks like it's somewhere around nine and a half to 10 feet. So it's nice, this has a nice stable base so you don't have to have it on your back. You can take it off, set it on the ground and work you know, like five or six feet away from it. If I were working in some dusty situations, I would have this breather mask right here. And then just a few days ago, I picked up these new Milwaukee glasses right here. These do not fog up at all, which I think is amazing. Compared to some other glasses I have when I wear this breather mask right here. There, what do you think? <laughs> and then I just wanna say my goal of this video is to help you guys out by putting this saw right here to the test so you can see if it's right for you in case you're considering the purchase of this. So hopefully I've been able to push it to the limits enough so you know what to expect with it. If not, let me know. Or also check a link I have down below the Home Depot website. There you'll see a lot of the reviews and some questions and answers. If you find this video interesting, informative, and helpful, please help support my channel by giving it a thumbs up. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.